we can always what deceive people and pretend that we are christians pretend that we are holy pretend that we are righteous and pious we can pretend to people and be hypocritical we can even deceive ourselves and justify and rationalize our actions and validate our behaviors but we cannot deceive god and his word and the greatest deception is when you have succeeded in deceiving people you deceive yourself and you think you know god but god does not know you and it says that though you may have prophesied my name though you have mentioned my name though you have prayed in my name though you have believed me for miracles but i know you not because you work iniquity in your secret chambers you are a sinner you say you are a christian but you are a sinner because the things you are engaging are sinful and are not inconsistent with my word the psalmist says that your word have i hidden in my heart that i may not sin against you so it is a very dangerous thing for a person to think they know god but they stand before the judgment seat of christ one day and jesus says i never knew you and that time you cannot repent and you don't have a second chance so may the lord god almighty reveal to us who we really are and what is our standing with him because we can we, some of us are confessing to be christians but our lifestyles are living in sin and sometimes the life of an unbeliever outwardly is even better than a confessing professing christian something which an unbeliever is so careful and afraid by their moral values a christian a person who says he's a christian cheaply does it and does not even care whether it is any form of sin that they, they, they just sin and it's just like they don't care and even with an unbeliever who doesn't know Jesus, who doesn't serve God, but some people have moral values which are upheld more than Christians. Jesus said, if you love me, you will obey my commandments. So when the Holy Spirit comes into your life, he gives you the strength to be holy. Uh, uh, when you know you are a child of god you know you are a believer when you begin to walk in holiness and in righteousness because there's a power that is at work in you that is enabling you to both will and to do the good pleasure of god then you know that i'm really born again because the things i used to do I'm unable to do them anymore. Why? Because Christ is now working in me, with me, through me, and helping me to overcome the world, overcome my flesh, overcome carnality. I'm being transformed. I am being changed into a different person. For if anyone be in Christ, he or she is a new creature. Behold, all things are passed away and everything has become new. And the Holy Spirit living in you, transforming you to, the, to conform to Christ. As you read the scriptures, the Bible, you realize that now you begin to express the fullness of the Holy Spirit in you. There's no way a demon, a witch, a wizard... An evil spirit or even generational curses can now overpower such a Christian. Why? Because you walk in the spirit. The Bible says walk in the spirit and you will not satisfy the lustful desires of the flesh. So anyone who walks in the spirit and in the word is transformed into the image of Christ. And Christ cannot be bound. 
Christ cannot be accursed. Christ cannot be bewitched. Christ cannot be destroyed by demonic or witchcraft or generational curses or spirit husband or spirit wife. So the greatest deliverance is when we begin to die to ourselves, die to sin, and begin to be conformed to Christ. And we become a new creation. Here you are, you want God to do this for you, you want God to deliver you, you want God to set you free, but you are not a new creation. You are still bound in sin, bound in worldliness, bound to carnality. How do you possibly receive your deliverance, receive your liberty, and be able to maintain and sustain? May the Holy Spirit help you and I to be what? Holy. Because the Bible says that without holiness, no one can see God. Without holiness, without holiness, nobody can see God. Our God is holy. Our God is righteous. May God begin to work in us to be rapture ready. Rapture ready. People die every day. The question is that, oh, Jesus says he's coming. When is he going to come? Every day people die. They are meeting their judgment day. The judgment day happens when you begin to die and you stand before God to be judged, whether it is hell or in paradise. The question is that how ready and how are we living our lives? Is it for God? Is it for ourselves? Are we known by God? First John chapter 5. It talks about something very profound. The Bible says, verse 18. First John chapter 5. We know that whoever is born of God does not sin. We know that whoever, whoever says they are born of God does not sin. Meaning that our confession of Christianity, we should be delivered from sin. But he who has been born of God keeps himself. Him who has been born of God keeps himself, keeps himself, consecrate, set themselves apart, himself. And the wicked one does not touch him. You keep yourself to God. You consecrate yourself to God. You separate yourself from sin, from worldliness, from worldly friends, from worldly pleasures, from addictions and sinful attitude and behaviors. And you set yourself outside to, to live your life, to please God. Because he who is born of God does not sin. There is no seed of sin or delight in sin. You, Whenever you sin, you are so much convicted that you don't delight. But here we are, people delighting in sin, swimming in sin, enjoying sin. And yesterday we finish and say, I'm a Christian. I'm a believer. And the Bible says, and the wicked one, it says, but he who has been born of God, redeemed by the blood filled with the holy spirit they keep themselves you have to learn to keep yourself from sin keep yourself from worldliness keep yourself from things that contaminate corrupt defile your body soul and spirit and make you a sinner and when you keep yourself by putting up principles and being diligently asking for grace to obey god's word the Bible says, and the wicked one, the witches, and the wicked one, the wizards, and the wicked one, the spirit husband, the spirit wife, and the wicked one, the agent of darkness, and the wicked one, the marine spirit, familiar spirit, monetary spirit, whoever is that evil demonic powers, and the wicked one does not touch him. They cannot, they should not touch you to come and cause sleep paralysis come and feed you, come and molest you, come and curse you. The wicked one, your enemies, cannot even curse you. Why? Because you are born of God, you keep yourself, and therefore the wicked one cannot touch you.
How how come the wicked ones are touching us? Touching our marriages, touching our health, touching our children, touching everything. Because compromise. The most compromising. When a, when a Muslim says they are jihad or they are standing radically for Muhammad or Allah, I'm telling you, they go all out and they are willing to be even suicide bombers. They are willing to die for Allah, die for more, die for their religion, and they are willing to go to heaven and marry different. Uh, they are heaven to marry different. Uh, sorry, um, whatever virgins they are waiting for. But a Muslim radical is willing to die for her, his feet. A radical Muslim will pray. Is it five times a day? They are very, very committed, consecrated towards their faith. A Jewish person who is radical, certain days you will not find them even working. They don't pray, play with their prayer time. And there are sessions in different places where you go there, it is only Jewish people and they have their own food and their own uh, synagogue and, and, and even if you go there you will find yourself isolated not because they are trying to um look down on you but you realize that i don't belong here because they are telling you this is our religion and our tradition and our way of life you are an outsider you don't have to be here it is only the christian who compromises with any new fad and any new trending and any new thing that the demons and the world is bringing out and we feel we are so casual and therefore there's nothing unique about the christian that whatever is happening to the world is happening to us that what is happening in this end time is that it is very dangerous very dangerous because we are not keeping ourselves and the enemy is infiltrating we are not careful what we watch. We are not careful what our children read. We are not careful what our family watch as entertainment. We are not watch, We are not careful in the way we dress. We are not careful for what we stand for. A Christian and they are saying, it's okay, I believe in gays. It's okay, I believe in lesbianism. It's okay, I believe in abortion. It's okay, I believe in same-sex marriage. It's okay, I believe in, in, in dressing anyhow. But, and we don't understand why. The presence, the power, and the glory of God is departing from us. And we are screaming so much. Look at how, how long we have to pray so much, fast so much, to, 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 to merit and receive little miracles. And when even you receive your miracle, it is so much of a surprise. Oh, I receive a miracle. I receive a breakthrough. What is your miracle? I receive a job. What is your miracle? I receive some financial breakthrough. Oh, what's a miracle? I was sick and I was healed. These are no miracles. It should be our daily benefit. People should be healed normally. You, you should you should not struggle getting a job. You should not struggle getting married. You should not have a problem sleeping and enjoying your sleep without any harassment. But because the society and we are driving, we are we are distancing from God. It's making the the the, the, the things that should come us come to us normally. Now we are calling it miracles. Miracles were when dead people were coming back to life. Miracles when it was when the Red Sea was parting into two and people were walking through the Red Sea. Miracles was when Joshua commanded the sun, sun, stand still, and the stand stood still. This is a miracle. It is not, we, we are so, things are so bad that now getting a job is now a miracle. Getting healing is now a miracle. Getting a financial breakthrough, we call it a miracle. Why? Because we are not keeping ourselves. 
We are not saying that I am different. I am a Christian. I cannot be part of this. I cannot listen to this song. I cannot dance to the tune of this song. I cannot watch this program. I cannot be at this party. I cannot be part of this mess. I don't believe in this ideology. It is not part of my, my lifestyle. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. My wife was telling me about a situation that it happened. Somebody, a co-worker in their workplace was having a wedding. And they went in there and she was a very, very surprised. The dancing of the bride. And the guy was not able to dance to the tune of the bride. And so when they came back to work, the the co-workers were saying to this guy how come your wife was dancing and you were not able to dance what was wrong with you and he says that i'm a church boy and all i know how to dance is church songs but here i am in my wedding they are playing circular song and my wife is dancing to it and i don't know how to dance to it and everybody was bashing this guy for saying i'm a church boy the only one to defend him was my wife, saying that I am also a church girl and I don't dance to the tune of such. And they became the wrong people. The world now sees right as wrong and wrong as right. So they were now the strange people. They were now laughing at them, mocking at them. And then I also asked myself about that Christian brother, that why should you be a Christian brother having a Christian wedding and playing a worldly song for unbelievers to feel so comfortable that now you are now a stranger to god in your own wedding because you didn't play something to glorify your god and this is the system so we don't know why the bible says he who is born of god does not live in sin but keeps himself and the wicked one. Please, you can do 40 days fasting, 50 days fasting. You can be fasting. You can be praying. But if we don't keep ourselves, if we don't consecrate ourselves, generational powers, familiar spirits, monetary spirits, marine demons, witches and wizards, our enemies will always entrap us and attack us and they will have access to attack us because we are not separated. We are not different. You are just like your family members. So every curse in that family, you are also going through it. You dress like them, you listen to songs like them, you do everything that they do. So why would, why would the familiar spirit, ancestral spirit spare you? From you also going through the same family bondage and captivity. You are no different. If we have a group test. If I have my phone. This is my phone. And that is your phone. And we have a group test. And so. I collect your number. And I collect other people's number. And I connect it to our. All of us are able to test each other. Once I send a test message and said. And say, how are you doing? Everybody in that group will receive that same message at the same time. Because we are all connected to the test message. How are you doing from Reverend K to the group? Everybody within the group will receive the same message. How are you doing from Reverend K? Because you are all connected through the test, group test. Right now. If your YouTube or Facebook or you have called the prayer line, as I'm speaking right now, you are hearing me and others are thousands are going to hear me at the same time. Why? Because we are all connected. Now, the only time I send a message, I'm speaking and you cannot hear me or receive my message is only when you are disconnected. You are disconnected. When your name is deleted, or the internet is disconnected, or you click yourself out, then you cannot receive the message I am sending to the group. Why? Because you are now out of the group. 
So the question is that, how come you are in the group of your family and the spirits in your family are sending group tests of curses, witchcraft, delay, stagnation, retrogression, sicknesses, failure, rise and fall, all sort of curses, and it is being released into everybody in the family. How come you and I are still receiving the same messages? Why? Because you are still connected. If you were truly disconnected, you wouldn't have received that message. You wouldn't have what? Received the message from the powers from your mother's house. The powers from your enemies. Why? Because the Bible says that he or she who keeps himself, the devil cannot touch them. Why are you still receiving group messages from powers from your foundation? Why? Meaning, even though you are saying, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian, they don't value your confession because to them you are still connected. So everything they send, if it is rejection, if it's disappointment, if it is failure, if it is divorce, if it's barrenness, if it was it's back causing, if it is delay, when they send it to the group and it is affecting your brothers, your sisters, your mother, your grandparents, your uncles and nephews and your niece, and your relatives, you realize that you are also having the same share of the same message. Your life is being conformed to the very things your mama, your mother went through. A young girl's mother became pregnant at the age of 16. And the mothers forfeited her many dreams. Later on, she struggled and struggled with, with welfare and everything to just make sure that the child she gave birth to will be able to succeed. This girl was so brilliant, doing well in school, but at the age of or the same 16 years, she also, no matter how the mom was working her butt out to make her succeed, she at the age of 16 also became pregnant, just like mother, less just like daughter. Why? Because the group tests, the same test. Your mom goes through it. You are going through it. Your father went through it. Your son is going through it. You, some of you are already seeing it in the lives of your children. Meaning they have been incorporated. They have been initiated. They have been connected to the group test of the family altar. Why? Because we are not being separated. It is time we become serious with ourselves. Because if you keep yourself and you are born again of God and you don't live in sin, the devil cannot touch you. It's the word of God. So how come the devil is still touching us? To the point that not only touching you, they are now moving on to your children. And your children are already beginning to reflect their father. Reflect your past experience. Let us be serious. This is not games and gimmicks. I pray that tonight, if there's any prayer you pray, may the Lord give you the grace to be holy. May the Lord give you the grace to be righteous. The Bible says it is God who worketh in us both to will and to do his good pleasure. It is not time for games and gimmicks. The way the world is going to uh, going, if you don't allow God to make you part of the remnant, the tsunami, the shaking, and the problems and the challenges coming, you'll be swept with unbelievers. And you say, oh Lord, where are you? Because you, you claim to be a Christian, but you are not a Christian. The Spirit of God is not with you. The presence of God is not with you. Why? Because we are not serious. We are not serious. We are we are we, we, we are we play games and games with God. We only come because you have come to his all you know there's a miracle and a breakthrough and a, you, you want something from God, but you don't want to serve God. You want to receive something from him. He has become our Father Christmas. He has become somebody who distributes gifts, but we are not making him Lord and Master. And it is very dangerous. And we are leaving the next generation in a very much more disadvantageous position. At least you know what is going on. What about your children? Do they know the generational curses, the strongholds? Do they understand the element of witchcraft and curses going on? And now you who know it also, you are not serious with your life. So now it's going to be even worse for the, our children. Why? Because they will be fighting battles and they are so much dead to the things of God to the point that they wouldn't be even seeking God's face for God to help them. They will be seeking for psychic energies, going into necromancy, going into new age, going into all sort of all sort of diabolic things and things are going to be worse. And meaning that all the pain and problems and challenges you went on, you went through in your old age, your children and grandchildren will still be causing you pain. They will still be causing you pain because you'll be hearing problems 
of your son and your grandchildren and in your old age you will say ah what is going on i went through all this and um, in your old age they will they will usher you to your quick death why because they are still going through the same thing and it's even getting worse things are not getting better the world is now contaminated and corrupted if we say we are christians let us be serious let us worship god in truth and in spirit if you love me you'll obey my commandment jesus is coming soon are you rapture ready? Are you ready for his soon return? Let us ask God for grace and mercy. That's what we are praying today. Lord, be merciful. Be gracious. Holy Spirit, help me to be holy. Help me to be righteous. Help me to fear God. Help me to reverence God. Help me to come out of anything that is leading me astray. Help me to be transformed to the image of Christ. Help me to be prayerful. Help me to read the Bible. Help me to serve God in truth and in spirit. Help me to change from my ways. How can you believe God for a miracle? The blessing cannot flow as long as we still have the negative attitude and negative thinking and negative ways. You, God cannot bless us until we change. How can God bless you when you are still living in filth? The, the filth will block, the sin will block the flow of the blessing. Not that God is not willing, but your sin will block your flow of blessing. Let's pray for mercy in the name of Jesus. This is our last prayer for today. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Holy Spirit, we pray, have mercy on us. Father, create in us, O oh God, a clean heart, a new and a right spirit within us. Cast us not away from thy presence, but restore to us the joy of your salvation. As the dear panthers for water, so let our soul long get after you, O oh God. We pray that you help us to worship you in truth and in spirit. Help us to die to ourselves. Help us, O oh Lord Almighty, to yearn to know you, to serve you. To come out and be separated. Jesus have mercy. Jesus son of David have mercy. Jesus son of David have mercy. Help us to be prepared for your soon return. Help us to be disconnected from sin. Help us to die to our carnality. Our flesh. Let us be crucified with Christ. Oh Lord help us. To take our Bible study seriously, our prayer life seriously. Help us to be obedient and yield to your will, your ways, your word, your Holy Spirit. Transform us, Holy Spirit. Change us, Holy Spirit. Grant us grace to break away from negative attitude and behavior and ideologies. Father, fill us with your Holy Ghost and with your power. For not by might, nor by power, but by your spirit, O oh Lord. Without you, we can do nothing. Jesus, we need you. This week, help us. Set our heart on fire. Set our heart ablaze. Send us a revival. Revive us, O oh God. Body, soul, and spirit. Renew our love for you. Renew our desire to be in your presence. Let everything that is obstructing and hindering us fade away help us to spend time in prayer help us to spend time in reading your word help us to obey your word help us to no, say no to sin help us to keep ourselves from bad friends bad relationship and things that contaminate us deliver us from deception holy spirit will prepare us for the soon return of jesus we confess our sins to you. Lord, be merciful. Lord, be merciful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There's somebody, God is warning you. Turn back to God before it's too late. You are treading on dangerous grounds. You are treading on dangerous grounds. The fact that you did that sin and you got away with it, doesn't mean 
God condones it. God approves of it. Of, of it. He's just showing you mercy. So that his mercy will cause you to repent before it is too late. But the enemy is also wooing you in. Captivating your attention. Because the Bible says that there's a way that seems right to a man. But the end leads to distraction. There's a distraction awaiting you. And the devil is making you get away with this, get away with that. So you are thinking and feeling ease with that sin. What you don't know is that your distraction is looming, is coming. And God is showing you mercy. And he's saying to you today, repent and turn away from that sin. You know yourself. Repent and turn away from that sin before it is too late. Before it is too late. And you find yourself in the belly of the enemy and you will cry out and god cannot help you because he showed you mercy and grace to cause you to repent and you were adamant resolute in your evil ways repent may the lord help you to listen today and as you repent may the lord show you mercy and may you not fall into the trap of the enemy the bible says that he who keeps himself himself the devil cannot touch them when you do that, the enemy will not have a way of destroying you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Join us tomorrow. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Every Tuesdays and Fridays we fast. Every Tuesdays and Fridays we fast from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Somebody, tomorrow's fast, you have to pray for God for mercy. You know the sin you were involved in. I'm not here to mention names, but you know. You did something and you have been convicted and you have been feeling bad, but something is still telling you, go ahead, you can get away with it. As you fast tomorrow, ask the Lord to show you mercy. Ask the Lord to show you mercy, forgive you and repent and the Lord will restore you. And those of you who are also fasting with us tomorrow, ask the Lord to help you. Ask the Lord to send you help. It is our month of help and whatever situation you find yourself, or as you fast tomorrow, Ask the Lord to help you. You are going to stand on the scripture, Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Call upon me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things. So whatever help you, that you need. Some of you are preparing for an exam. Some of you are preparing to go for a court case. Some of you are preparing for an interview. Some of you are expecting a job or expecting some funds or some loans to be given to you or some documentation. Whatever it is, you are going to pray and ask the Lord, Lord, you are my helper. Help me. Your word says that if I call upon you and cry out to you, you will do great and mighty things. So, Lord, help me. In my marriage, help me. Concerning my health, help me. Concerning my son, my daughter, help me. Concerning my profession, my job, help me. Whatever situation you are finding in difficulty, making a headway or progress or challenges or obstacles that you are facing, as you fast tomorrow, ask the Lord, Lord, I am seeking for your help. Help me, Lord Jesus. I'm calling upon you. Answer me and show me great and mighty things. Help me. Come through for me. Intervene. And let there be an intervention. And give me a miracle. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Use it and ask the Lord to show you mercy in Jesus' name. And for that person who the Lord spoke to you tonight, you ask the Lord to show you mercy. 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 And I think in uh, Hebrews, yeah, Romans chapter 5 verse 15, talking about I'll show mercy on whomever I'll show mercy. May the Lord show you mercy as you wait upon him tomorrow in fasting. So the fasting is from 6 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m. in the evening. During the fast, we only drink water and we meet at 10, 11 p.m. Eastern time uh, for prayers. 11 p.m. Eastern time for those of you in U.S. Uh, for those of you in England, London, it will be 4 a.m. Any part of Europe, for those of you in any part of Europe, it will be 5 a.m. Join us through our YouTube channel uh kl blessing and also fresh fire prayer line fresh fire prayer line so join us for prayers tomorrow and as we still ask the lord to send us help and the lord will send you help in the mighty name of jesus may the lord god almighty bless you and may the lord almighty favor you may the lord also show you mercy may the lord show you mercy and grace in the name of jesus christ i ask the lord that he should answer you speedily whatever you are trusting him for may the lord come through for you and show you his salvation he is a good god and he will show you his salvation in jesus mighty name god willing i'll see you tomorrow for further information go to our website 
www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com and that's where you can get all information about the ministry we give glory and honor and praise to our god thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus thank you holy spirit we give you all the praise we give you all the praise so god willing we'll meet tomorrow after the fast shalom peace be man thank you jesus make sure you join us every single day at 11 p.m eastern time 11 p.m eastern time for prayers 11 p.m eastern time us for prayers uh, for those of you in europe it is 5 a.m 5 a.m in europe and those of you in london uh, it's 4 a.m so 11 p.m eastern time us 4 a.m london 5 a.m europe join us for daily prayers and your life will never be the same subscribe to our youtube channel fresh fire prayer line fresh fire prayer line and click on the bell and also share also subscribe to our youtube channel k a blessing k a blessing and also facebook channel k a blessing and will be a blessing to you um, for further information um, go to our website www.freshfireprayer.com 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 our scripture reading for tomorrow tuesday is Acts chapter 15 act chapter 15 is our scripture reading for tuesday the uh, tuesday 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 thank you lord thank you lord for any donation to the ministry you can do so through our website www.freshfireprayer.com that's where you get the paypal and also the zeal for cash up it's fresh fire prayer one word fresh fire prayer during this season we're encouraging you to use the book consuming fire for fire prayers to enforce your deliverance because there's so much witchcraft activities going around during this season one of the uh, activities going on especially is spiritual spider web spiritual spider web well sometimes you get out out, out there and you see some spider webs on your face or you are entangled with a spider web and sometimes people take it lightly they think it's common but if you take spiritual things common it is going to have uh, frustrate your life during this season one of the spirits that operate a lot is the spirit of disappointment the spirit of delay and the spirit of frustration and setback so if you are not prayerful you realize that the devil will do everything to make sure that he truncates and frustrates you from moving forward and fulfilling your uh, your destiny why because the year is divided into three quarters the first quarter is january february march april january february march april so that's the first quarter that's you knowing the will of god and the mind of god concerning your life the second quarter starts from may june july august and during this season that is the time of activities and productivity that's the time of fruitfulness that's the time of getting busy with your visions your dreams your aspiration and god's purpose for your life so during that season whereby you are trying to enforce and do the will of god and manifest the power the purpose of god the devil will bring obstacles hindrances impediment opposition challenges setbacks that's why i said today i called i called a company i called and i said that i need this and that they said we are sorry we can't help you there's no room i we can't help you and then okay i called other other places and they gave me the same news close 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 rejection 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 and then the holy spirit says call again call the first place you called don't accept the refusal don't accept the rejection don't accept the no so call again in fact the first woman i spoke to i didn't like the way she was talking so god says call again and i called and this one it was a new gentleman and the same request i posed to this second person was no different from the one i posed to the first lady and this time this guy was able to make a way where there's no way why because you don't just I take no for an answer you have to be persistent you have to be res you have to be enforcing your miracle persistence overcomes resistance perseverance being insistent and demanding i called again the same place some of you the little hindrances and challenges you give up i called again this time there was a new person so god took away the person 
who was there planted to reject me and position somebody who was there to favor me because we are in the season of what favor and acceptance so i can't be i can't be i can't be rejected i refused but some of you are just taking no for an answer you apply for a job and they say no you say no you apply for oh i applied it and did why don't you call back why don't you go there why don't you enforce be insistent and demanding insistent and demanding be persevering and persistent and be consistent and be aggressive this is the way this is the way we break through you don't just sit down for the devil and the witches to use hindrances and obstacles to say no to you and you uh, i was rejected i you re no i called again and no became yes and i got what i wanted so in this book you learn how to pray against the spirit of delay pray against the spirit of setback pray against the spirit of singleness delay in, in marriage pray against satanic altars and witchcraft at activities pray against incubus and succubus pray against the python or serpentine demon the leviathan spirit pray against demonic attacks and pray against any witch woman or strange woman who is disturbing you in your marriage get it on our website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com consuming fire for fire consuming fire for fire get it and begin to do warfare if you are consistent in your doing your warfare prayers and fasting and also taking initiative don't be sitting down and waiting for manna to rain from heaven manna does not rain from heaven anymore you must step out there and get what is yours take it by force don't wait for things to happen make things happen go and take what is yours go and look for that job go and apply go and ask for what you want and be insistent and the no will turn into yes so get a book it in kindle form in ebook form you, you you order it you purchase it on our website www.freshfireprayer.com consuming fire consuming fire for fire prayers and start praying and start seeing results and break satanic witchcraft activities of your life there's no pray for me issue this is you being aggressive and violent and the violent take it by force so go to the website order yourself a copy or get some for somebody and let them use it and let us receive victories during these seasons in the mighty name of jesus christ when you order it uh it will be sent to your email within one to two days and um, if you don't find it go to your spam uh, um, email or the tra uh, trash and check it if you don't find it email us and we'll look into it for you if you don't receive it within one to two days email us we will look into it and get it to you as soon as possible because some of you you the very uh on your paypal you have a different email from your current email so it goes to that email and yesterday you'll be saying i haven't received it i haven't received it by just that you your email on your paper is different from your email your current email and these are all some of the all it goes to your spam so check all these things before you get to us and we'll look into it and get it to you as soon as possible but please if you want to be productive and fruitful and and experience breakthroughs fast pray and step out in faith and let your dreams and visions and your aspirations come through by faith and don't take no for an answer the fact that they say no doesn't mean that is it be insistent keep on knocking if you keep on asking if they don't give it to you keep on seeking if you don't find it knock when you knock the door will be open may god richly bless you god willing we shall meet tomorrow shalom peace be unto you all bye family and that's how we're our brother in christ and i'm here i'm here to tell you miss me man that when jesus christ saved the lord did more than just save my soul mm -hmm. save my life as well yes i'm ashamed to admit it but i had a problem with drugs but by the love of my dear wife 
power of the Holy Spirit. I was able to feed God defeated my addiction. I just want to praise the Lord for his love. And just say that if there's anyone who's wondering if God can really change or make a difference in your life, I'm living proof. Mm-hmm. He saved me. He saved my wife. And he saved my family as well. Yeah. And I just want to say thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Praise the Lord. Let the church say amen. amen. Brother Toledo, thank you for your testimony. Have you received the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? Yes, I have, Pastor. You're ready to follow him in believer's baptism. Yes, I am. Well, based on your confession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, we'd like to baptize you now. By the power invested in me as a minister of the gospel, we baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Hi, join us every day for prayers and for deliverance. Every day, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. 11 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. And also for those of you who are in London, it's going to be 4 a.m. London. And if you are in Europe, any part of Europe, it will be 5 a.m. Join us for our daily prayer deliverance and breakthrough prayers you can join us by connecting to our youtube live and facebook live we have two youtube accounts the first one is called fresh fire prayer line fresh fire prayer line so subscribe to fresh fire prayer line and click the bell and you'll be notified whenever we meet for prayers and also, we have another account called KL Blessing. K A Y and L Blessing is E L B L E S S I N G. K L Blessing. Subscribe to the K L Blessing YouTube account and click on, on the bell and you'll be notified. And also, you can follow us on Facebook, K L Blessing. K L Blessing. K A Y E L B L E S S I N G. K L Blessing. Follow us also on Facebook. So do change um, um join us every day for prayers. Every day. For those of you in US, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, London, 4 a.m. And those of you in Europe, 5 a.m. For any further information about our deliverance materials and books, go to our website www.freshfireprayer.com. www.freshfireprayer.com. And you can purchase our materials from there. God richly bless you. And I look forward to seeing you today for prayers. I pray for you that whatever you are believing God for, may the Lord God Almighty wipe away the tears from your eyes. May the Lord remove shame from your life. May the Lord mend your broken heart and heal you. May the Lord restore whatever the devil has stolen from your life. And may the Lord open doors for you in the name of Jesus. Every burden, every challenges you are going through, I want you to know that with prayer, God is able to do the impossible. I pray that the Lord God Almighty bring you deliverance. And may the Lord Almighty deliver you from every spells, every charms, every hexes, every attack of the enemy that is going on right, right now in your life. As I pray for you right now, let the attack stop and cease in the name of Jesus. And for those of you believing God for a breakthrough, I come into agreement with you. Let there be miracles. Let there be a breakthrough. Let there be testimony. Let there be praise report. Before you even join us, you are going to come with a testimony because our God is awesome and is able to do all things. He's a way maker. He's a miracle worker. He's a promise keeper. He's a God who is able to divide the rest. 
and causes people to walk on on dry land i so i prophesy in the name of jesus whatever blessing breakthrough you are believing god for may the lord answer you speedily in the mighty name of jesus christ be restored be healed be delivered i pray for god to restore your marriage in the name of jesus i ask the lord to restore your health i ask the lord to open the door for you to get your job i ask the lord god almighty to release a blessing in your family in the name of jesus those who are sick be healed right now be delivered right now be restored right now in the name of jesus door that were shut before you i command your closed doors to begin to be open and may you experience the favor of god whatever spell whatever charm whatever hexes that has been done against you to destroy you in the name of jesus by the power of the holy ghost by the resurrection of the anointing i break every yoke i break every charm i break every witchcraft off your life and i lose you by the power of the holy ghost for the bible says, whatever we lose on earth shall be loose in heaven i command your release from every powers of darkness from every curse from every bewitchment and from every shackles i break the yoke of the enemy of your life and i command your soul to escape as a bird out of the snares of the father may the snare be broken and i command your unconditional release right now receive your testimony receive your breakthrough this week receive your healing this week i ask the lord to restore your marriage your family your sons and daughters let them be covered let them be protected by the precious blood may the blood preserve and protect you from all evil from cancer from diabetes high blood pressure from covid from premature death from accident from uh, uh, misfortune and adversity and calamity, any evil, any weapon that has been formed or fashioned or designed against you, may the Lord cause you to escape the traps and the snares of your enemies. May your life be preserved by the Lord Jesus Christ. Join us today and your life will never be the same. This is Reverend K, a blessing. For more information, go to our website, www.freshfireprayer.com, www.freshfireprayer.com. And click and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Facebook channel, Fresh Fire Prayer Line. Also, K, a blessing. And follow us on Facebook, K, a blessing. God richly bless you. Bye. Hi, this is Reverend K. And once again, welcome to Fresh Fire Prayer Ministry. I'm here to recommend to you some deliverance materials which will help you the bible says buy knowledge and sell it not buy knowledge and sell it not you have to re you have to discover in order to recover if you don't discover the mystery behind your misery you'll not be able to recover and possess or repossess your possession so knowledge is very vital in this day and age because what you don't know is what the enemy or your enemies will use against you and that's why the u.s spend huge sums of money using it for intelligence because they have to know what their enemies are planning against the u.s before they in order to overturn it cancel it frustrate it before their enemies can come against them so the bible says that we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy so many people are looking for deliverance seeking for deliverance but they are very ignorant about the ways the devil operates and they keep on falling into the devil's trap and the devil keeps on getting them the first book i recommend to you is called spiritual diagnosis mind you you can get all these books on our website www.freshfireprayer.com www freshfireprayer.com you can get it on a paper book or you can get it on ebook in the ebook when you buy it it will be emailed to you as an attachment and you can open it and get it you go to the website www.freshfireprayer.com the first book is spiritual diagnosis spiritual diagnosis is the first book i wrote after the lord revealed to me the way the enemy operates against humanity the way witchcraft operate, curses operate, demons operate. In this book, you will understand how the enemy operates. You are going to learn about the portals which the enemies or demons can enter into your body. You, you will know how demons also operate. You also know how to keep your deliverance, how to keep, um, stay delivered. What can keep you from receiving deliverance? You will know the different ways the enemy can attack you either through witchcraft either through curses either through spirit husband either through your name either through against your marriage this are this book was exposed to you anybody who want to know about deliverance and about the ways the demons and the witches operate how witches can hunt down your star how witches can um you turn you into scape scapegoat in order to destroy you this book will give you all the vital 
informations you need for your deliverance and it will help you. Body afflictions. How many people are going through attacks on their body? Demonic visitation. Demons in, in, uh, visiting you. Witchcraft kid goods. Evil soul ties. I explain to you how all these things oppress Asmodeus and Osmodeus. These are demons that break marriages and keep people single. Satanic spiders and spider web. Every time you experience a spider web in your life. Satanic monitors. Demons and witches monitoring you. Evil altars and covenants that are affecting your body, are affecting your life. You learn all star hunters, demons and witches that are after your star and your glory, and how they can pursue after your star to destroy you. How to use the anointing oil, how to anoint your house. These are all, uh, and how to do self deliverance. This book, Spiritual Diagnosis, Spiritual Diagnosis. The other one is called Deliverance from Blessing Destroyers. This book gives you 30 dreams that shows you that your blessings and your prosperity is under demonic and witchcraft attacks. 35 prayer to cancel demonic dreams and, uh, and against your life. Are you, have you been having evil dreams? Have you been having bad dreams? Do you understand the dreams? Do you know how to pray to reverse it, to destroy it? How to overcome the four major causes of the poverty? You will discover what causes poverty and the 11 witchcraft activities. 11 witchcraft activities to destroy your blessings and your destiny. You also learn about the 16 demons that attack our finances. Prayers to overcome demonic operation against your blessings. Uh, prayers to, uh, against witchcraft activities. And nice spiritual element for your, your blessings. Deliverance from blessing destroyers. Emergency prayers for marriage restoration, anybody going through marital problem, anybody wanting to get married, anybody wanting to know how to pray against witchcraft, against marine demons, against strange women, against household wickedness, against spouse, uh, spouse charms, against your marriage, and how to pray to preserve your marriage, get this book, Deliverance from Blessing Destroy, uh, Emergency Prayers for uh, Marriage Restoration, any marriage under attack, this is your book. Consuming Fire for Fire, this is the book that you need in order to teach you how to pray against the spirit husband, spirit wife, python spirit, leviathan spirit, witchcraft spirit, demonic spirit, strange woman, come against singleness, spirit of delay, spirit of uh, satanic embargoes, anything, anybody who is going through witchcraft, this is the book. And if you want to know how to pray against a witch, get this book and it will teach you how to pray against witchcraft and get your deliverance. Emergency prayers for marriage restoration. Emergency prayers. Urgent prayers. This urgent prayers against the strong man. This book will teach you how to pray against back to sender. Anybody who releases evil arrow against you, how to send it back to the sender. This um, book will also teach you how to pray to open every satanic padlock that has padlocked your destiny and your star. This book will teach you how to pray against the spirit of death, sicknesses, and diseases, especially cancer. And this book will also teach you how to pray for favor in uh, for your life. And if you are dealing with any strong man, the spirit of Pharaoh that is holding you in bondage and captivity, this is the book you need. Emergency prayer for uh, urgent prayer against the strong man. Get this book and it will bless you. Touch not my anointed. If you don't want witches and wizards to mess you up, this is the book to get. And once you, you begin to use it, you will get, begin to get your deliverance from all the powers of darkness. Get, go to our website, www.freshfireprayer.com. www.freshfireprayer.com. Get these materials. Start reading them. Start praying these prayers in the midnight hour or every time you have and start praying them. Use these prayers and pray it and it will change your life and it will help you to fight against the powers of darkness and your life and your destiny will never be the same. Go to our website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com If you order the paper, uh, ebook, you will get it within 24 hours uh, and we will email it to you as an attachment. If you order the paperback, you will give us uh, four to five days and it will be emailed to you, uh, it will be sent to you and it will help you out to get your deliverance. God richly bless you. Bye.